Hello beautiful souls Smile How are you? How's life so far? This is Herb Stoutuism of the Reaching Hand Where life, step and meaning are in our connections I believe that all of us have stories to tell But not all have listeners Thus, the Reaching Hand is here for you So come as we unfold our stories and get connected to build a community. Last night on my way home, Two children begged me for money. When I asked them why, they said they're hungry. So I bought them bread instead. When I asked them how much they can consume, they said they can have two. But when I told them I'll gonna buy them three, they refused. Because they cannot eat it all. According to them, Two pieces were enough, so I bought them what they wanted, and they left me with a grateful heart. That simple experience taught me several things about life. First, the feeling of having enough. Sometimes our achievements make us want more, and satisfying our wanting makes us crave for something else. When we don't feel having enough, it puts ourselves closer to feelings such as bitterness and resentment. Second, the awareness of our desires. As the Oriental philosophy of Buddhism reminds us that the cause of our suffering are our desires. We have to be cautious of what we desire as not all lead to our happiness but only for mere pleasure. These are what we call as the seeming realities of things. We prepare ourselves to get what we desire but we never give a space for ourselves in case we fail to get what we want. As a result, we end up frustrated or devastated. But it does not end there because we love to channel such frustration in blaming and doubting others. Third, Keeping oneself in humility. We are made to achieve something, but not higher than what we have achieved. While we take pride in all those what we have worked hard for, but it should not pull us out from our roots. Let us be accepting that others can be better than us, and that someone out there has a bigger problem than us. Let not our struggles keep us blind from appreciating those people who support us or have been instrumental in our success or for the things that we have. Sometimes it's what we think that keep us feeling struggling. Fourth, the temporality of things. The day has to end for us to experience the night as sunset has to be gone momentarily for us to look forward to the dawning of the new day. Success is not lasting. We can only sustain it. The value of loss is to make us reassess the worth we attach to ourselves over things we failed to keep. Sometimes we must learn to see ourselves on what we've lost than what we've gained 
and figure out the difference it made us. And fifth, having a grateful heart. Gratitude is a value we mostly fail to live because we continually grow a heart that always wants instead of a heart that thanks. We are not selfish. We only cater to our self-interest. And for that reason, which is also a validation of our lack of contentment, being grateful means openness to let go of the things we accustomly attach with and the happiness to celebrate with what's left. God used those two children to make me realize that happiness does not reside on how much I have but how much grateful I am with what I have. It reminds me that our purpose in life is not only to be happy, but also to make others happy. In the temporality of things, contentment and humility equate to gratitude. A grateful heart has a happy life. I hope you also learn something from my experience, beautiful soul. And here's a reminder that life is beautiful and so are you. Take care always and God bless you, child of God. Love, herbs, tattooism of the reaching hand. You may also consider subscribing on my YouTube channel to reaching hand. Bye-bye.